My background is somewhat diversified. I have always come from the school of you can more is caught than taught. So I have a background in the military, 15 years active duty service in corrections and um, military police. Upon leaving the military, I went into the reserves for a while and got trained as a medic. And so I also worked professionally in the medical field as a medical assistant, specializing in wound care. I enjoyed health care, but it wasn't really a chosen profession I want to stay in, and there wasn't much challenge, and I felt like I'd hit the glass ceiling. I saw the challenge in going into contracting, which is pri primarily a male-dominated field. But I think that's what kind of intrigued me. My business partner, who's Colin Higginbottom, who has got many years in the flooring business, we sat and talked and decided to start Sustainable Floors as a woman-owned minority business. And when, since our inception of June of 2005, we have managed to grow between 30 to 35 percent every year as a commercial flooring company. So it's been extremely exciting. Um, educationally, I used I was doing a double major in business and psychology, but because I was active due to military, it was really difficult to continue my education. So I was like, well, why do I need to go to school for it? I'll just do it. So that's kind of where Sustainable Floors came from. I um, have always had a great love for counseling also and in pouring into people and helping them to achieve things that they want to in their life. So I do on my own, do counseling and um, what life, life skill training. And I also do it through my church because we have a recovery program for individuals who are s struggling with um, different situations in life. And currently, I do hold um, an associate's in um, biblical theology. And I plan on going back to school and obtaining my doctorates in theology. By the end of the year, I will be back in school for that.